Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here with T Game and Tech, and today I'm going to be giving you guys my first how-to video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable handicapped multitasking gestures. So if you can't use the multitasking gestures for some reason, or you just want to use the handicapped ones where you can actually make your own gestures, I'm basically going to show you how to do that. So first, you have to make sure your multitasking gestures are on in settings, and then after that, all you got to do is click on accessibility, and you see some settings for other stuff. But we're just going to click on assistive touch, and you got to turn it on. And then uh, you will see a small little circle appear in the bottom right hand of your iPad. And if it doesn't appear there, it might appear in a different corner. But if you click on that, you can click on your gestures, your favorites, your home, or different options for your device. So I just clicked on the home, and it took me to the home. For some reason, if I couldn't use the home button, I can use that. And it will take me to the home screen, just like the home button would, or a multitasking gesture would take me to the home button. You can move this button around to wherever you want. Um, it locks to one of the sides of the iPad, so you can't have it in the middle of your screen. Um, but as you can see, there's many different options to choose from. You can mute or unmute your device, and you can shake your device if it, one of your apps requires you to shake it. You can't do that on your own. You can change the volume up or down. You can lock the screen. Um, you cannot unlock it from multitasking gestures. I haven't found that. I don't know if it's in there or hidden somewhere, um, but basically it just locks it again. But I guess you just have to use a slide down lock. You got to hit the home button. You have to slide down lock to actually open the device. So there are also a button for your gestures, for your two finger gestures, three finger, four finger, and five finger gestures that you use, like swipe to go to different apps or swipe up. As you can see, I just swiped with one finger up and get the multitasking bar. Um, these little circles up here that signify different numbers of fingerprints on the screen. So I used one finger to do that. Um, your normal actions do work. Um, so I'm gonna just try it again to actually move up. As you can see, um, sometimes it is a little bit buggy and it doesn't work the way I want it to. Um, sometimes it just doesn't do anything at all. Um, but maybe I'm just doing it wrong. But after a while, it just does work. And if you do need this to help you do multitasking gestures, it will get the job done. So just go back into the settings and say, I want to go back to the home. So I need a five finger gesture, but I can't do that because um, I only have three fingers. So as you can see, the multitasking tray still works. It can do that. Um, so I'm going to use three fingers to use this five finger multitasking gesture. And as you can see, it didn't work the first time, but it did work the second time. So if I didn't have five fingers available, I only had three or I only had two, um, I could still do that gesture even though I don't have all the fingers able to do it. Right there, I didn't have it enabled. So that's why nothing happened. Um, but once you enable it again, go in there and choose what gesture you want to use. It should work. And it is a little bit buggy, like I said before. Um, it wants to change the app right there and it just wants to scroll down. Um, but it does work. Um, it's a little rough. But I would suggest that if you need an alternative to actually using the multitasking gestures that come with the iPad. So we're going to go back in here and we're going to go into favorites. Um, there is a pinch to zoom. That might be a favorite. That's just a stock favorite it gives you. I'm really not sure how you do that with only one finger. I mean, I guess you have to still use two fingers to pinch to zoom. Um, but basically you have those, like I showed before, there's a back button. You can go back to the menu. So basically now I'm showing you that this does work in app, that you can have these enabled in app. Um, it does fade in the bottom so you can still see it, but it doesn't take up a lot of your room. Um, so you can still use the multitasking gestures within other apps that are not Apple stock apps. So now I'm gonna show you how to create a new gesture. And if you have an app that needs a specific gesture, you can create it in here. And I'm just gonna make something up, I don't know. I don't really have an app that I really need to make a gesture for. But say I only I need an app that has fingers that shape into a triangle so I just touch it right there and turn it into a gesture so I'm going to name it triangle because my fingertips made a triangle um, so basically that's how you create your own gesture so if you have an app where you need three fingers to touch at those spaces apart you can use it so if you go into favorites you go into triangle and there it is don't know what you really need that for but the option is there to make your own gestures if you do need to so basically that's how to enable multitasking gestures so if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and comment below whether you like this video and what videos you'd like to see me do next. And once again, like always, thank you guys for watching my videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.